President William Ruto has offered to meet Azimio leader Raila Odinga for face-to-face -face talks in a bid to end street demonstrations that recently threatened to plug Kenya into chaos. President Ruto tweeted and I quote, My friend Raila Odinga, I'm off to Tanzania for a human capital meeting to harmonize the expansion of employment opportunities in our continent. I'm back tomorrow evening, and as you have always known, I'm available to meet one-on-one -on -one with you anytime at your convenience. End of the quote. The offer comes hours after Mr. Odinga accused the head of state of snubbing East Tanzanian counterpart Samia Suluhu, who jetted into the country two weeks ago to mediate in the conflict linked to the high cost of living and disputed August 2022 presidential election. Mr. Odinga said Suluhu, who wanted to broker a deal in the bipartisan talks between Kenya Kwanza and Azimio, was left hanging for the two days she was in the country. You see, it is not for the first time. You remember there's a time when the situation was very polarized and charged. When President Ruto publicly appealed to me and said that uh, we should call off the mandamano and, and di dialogue against um, uh, the protest from my, my people, uh, we agreed to call off the, the mandamano at that time and uh, give room for uh, dialogue. And I've just said that as soon as the, the temperatures come down, um, the, it was business as usual. They set up a team and eventually they withdrew. Those members of that team were not available. Each time our people assembled, they would say, most of their members are out of the country. They cannot raise a quorum. In that they were not serious at all. See, but you need to also know that um, there have been also attempts from outside. Uh, the, I can now say it here that the president from Tanzania came here um, two weeks ago at the invitation of President Ruto to mediate. And she was kept waiting, not from our side. We were available, but the other side was not available. She spent two nights here, and it was all, all in vain. Other people have tried. Right now, I know that other people are also trying, and but he's the one who's resisting. So uh, he basically knows who, what, what, what he wants. Uh, I myself have said that I would, I'm ready to sit with other people to discuss these issues. He is actually pretending, he's living in delusion that we don't have a crisis. But we have a serious crisis that requires uh, patriotism to resolve. And, and we are ready ourselves.